Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now for today's video, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial across two platforms, both Capture One and Photoshop. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about retaining texture and detail and enhancing detail in your images as well. I actually get one particular question a lot on my YouTube channel, and that's how I keep images sharp and how I keep the detail intact as well. And I've spoken about this a couple of times on my channel, but there's a lot that you really need to do before you get into post-processing to keep the detail and to enhance texture. But for today, we're actually gonna focus on the post-processing stages of this and how you can enhance the texture through Photoshop and through Capture One as well. There's a couple of different stages that I like to go through. So I'm gonna start with Capture One today and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just before we get into the video today, I just wanna let you guys know that positions in my Beauty Retouching for Beginners e-course via Teachable are filling up quickly. So if you are wanting to enroll in this course, I highly recommend going and checking out the information down in the description box below as soon as possible. I will only be accepting 20 positions for this course and I will be giving personalized feedback for every homework task that is completed. You'll receive six learning modules over six weeks and plenty of images to practice your retouching on. The course starts on the 7th of June and enrollments end on the 4th of June. However, if the enrollments do fill up before the 4th of June, I will be closing the cart earlier on. So if you guys are interested, there is a link down in the description box below and I hope to see you guys there. So as I said, I do a number of things before I actually start my photo shoot to make sure that I'm getting the most detail out of all my images and that includes shooting in RAW. So I've imported my RAW file here. This is completely unedited at this stage. I haven't even color graded it. So you're looking at the raw skin texture and I really want the skin texture and, and for most of my beauty images, I want that to be very uh, prevalent and I want the texture to be very detailed. Although we already have quite a bit of detail in the skin texture here, and this was because I photographed in harsh sunlight, this tends to happen. Um, we're actually going to make a couple of adjustments to really enhance it even more and to enhance it for the later stages once we bring it into Photoshop as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the clarity section over here on the left hand side and I'm going to leave the method as natural and I'm going to bump up this clarity just a little bit. You don't want to go too overboard with this tool because it can start to look really, really textured and you don't want it to look over textured. There is definitely a delicate balance, but I think for this, I really want the texture to be standing out. So we're going to leave it at about 15. You can then actually move this tab called structure and you can move that up as well. And that will really help bring the detail out even more and sort of give it that crisper kind of feeling. So I'm going to move that up just a little bit there. And what I'm going to do is show you guys a before and after of how that's enhanced the texture already. So we're going to zoom in so you guys can see this properly. So on the left, you've got the before and on the right, you've got the after. So you can see as I drag this over, particularly around this area here, just focus on that area and you can see just how much sharper that is looking. And especially around the eye, just up the top here as well, you can see how that's brought out the highlights too. I'm going to zoom in even further. So that's the before. And that's the after. So even just by using one tool there, we've really helped enhance that skin texture in a minimal way. But we're actually going to go through a couple more things in Photoshop as well that I'm going to tell you guys about on how I like to retain this detail that we've just enhanced and how we can further enhance it in Photoshop afterwards. So I'm now going to import this photo into Photoshop and we're going to get started with the next stage. Okay, so usually when I bring my photo into Photoshop, this is where I start the skin retouching stage. So I would usually use a method called dodge and burn. So if you guys haven't used dodge and burn before, there's lots of different tutorials on my channel where I walk you through the step-by-step -step process of using that particular technique. But I generally use that because it really helps to retain the skin texture and the skin detail and to even enhance it in some ways. So especially when you're looking at a very close up image of this and the skin texture is so prevalent, we want it to be sharp, we want it to be detailed. So I'm actually gonna switch on a few layers here and you can see my dodging and burning and what this has done. So for those of you who don't know, dodging is painting onto the skin with a lighter color to help fill in any uneven areas or any blemished or rough spots on the skin. Burning is to do the exact same. However, I like to use that mainly in darker areas or on darker parts of the skin. So I've actually already pre-prepared this image here. So I'm gonna actually switch on the dodging layer so you guys can see what I mean. So you can see that that's filled in some parts of the skin tone just up the top here, just to really make it appear smoother, but it still retains that detail really well. I'm gonna move up to the eye so you guys can get a better look. 
and you can see that it really just fills in those areas and it's not removing any of the detail. We're not removing the texture, especially the, the parts that we've just enhanced and the sharpness. There's not too many darker areas in this photo, so there's not too much to show when burn is switched on. We then have our blemish layers here, which you can see I've removed some of the little blemishes and just some of the fine lines on the skin as well. And a couple of different tweaking layers as well. This one here is actually just to uh, help soften certain areas of the skin tone because on certain parts of a skin tone, it can look quite rough or it can look quite uneven. So sometimes I like to use uh, a bit more of a painting method as well as dodge and burn. But in doing so, sometimes this does lessen the texture again, but it is a good way to overall even out the skin tone at the same time. So with all the editing layers and finishing touches switched back on, I'm actually going to sharpen the image again. And on top of all of this, we're actually going to flatten the image because we're pretty much done with the editing. And then I'm going to duplicate the background layer, go to filter, other, high pass. And this is where we're going to do our sharpening. This is a form of sharpening that I really enjoy using because it's really non-destructive to the image. I like to do this as a finishing touch in terms of sharpening and enhancing that texture. I try only ever to use clarity in Lightroom or Capture One before I move the image into Photoshop for skin retouching. And then, as I said, a finishing touch would be sharpening using this method. So as we move the pixels up, you can see that it really has that embossed effect. So we don't want it like that. I think we're gonna just leave it at around 11 pixels radius and then we can always soften it later we'll just go okay and then we're going to go to the blending mode down here and go to overlay and you can see when I click that on and off you can see how detailed it looks now but it's too detailed it's too overly detailed so we're actually going to just soften that a little bit more so we'll do that by going to the opacity here and then bringing this slider down to where we think is best so I'm thinking probably about just under half of what we had it at, around 42%. And as I zoom out, you guys can see how sharp that's still looking and how detailed that's still looking. We can probably go even a little bit less with the sharpening layer, but that's the beauty of this technique because you can really just easily adjust it as you see fit. And that's pretty much how I would enhance the detail in my images, especially in my beauty images and any close-up images. So I hope you guys found this video helpful today. It's just a few quick stages and techniques that I like to use across Capture One and Photoshop these days to help enhance the texture and detail in my images and keep my images sharp. Like I said earlier on in the tutorial, I do believe that there's a lot that you need to do before you get the image into post-processing to really get the most out of your images and to get the most detail. And I've spoken about that in other videos. So I'm going to link them down in the description box below if you guys are interested in watching any of those and finding out more about how you can really retain sharp imagery and to enhance texture. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to give you just a quick before and after two of what we looked at from Capture One in the original image. So this is the original image and then this is our final image in Photoshop. So you can see there's a really good difference there with the skin retouching and we've still retained the majority of the skin texture as well. So if you guys like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do because I'll have lots more content like this in future. And let me know if there's any requests that you have for my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.